let me get ready. Um, I'm just putting this on right now just to kind of get started. Um, Um, okay, so hello guys, what is up? Um, I'm just sitting here and I just try to mellow out. Um, I went and stocked up on some cigarettes, um, menthols, because I'm just like not in the mood right now. We just, just I need a moment um, to get into this, but I have to like freshen up my makeup. Um, and I'm just get situated. I got my drink, my Starbucks, um, and I want to show you guys some new things. And but basically today is a list day, and um, it's a list day. Okay. Um, and that's like, yeah, it is, it's a list day. This is my Bobbi Brown that I love. And, um, I'm going to talk about it in a little bit. Um, I kind of broke my own rule as far as complicating things. So I'm going to be rectifying that real quick because it's just stupid, pointless. I hate, I hate doing that. Um, okay. Um, so yeah, last week I kind of didn't do a list, right? I like showed you, th I don't know. Did I, I feel like I didn't do list stuff last week. Uh, that's a noise, which I really don't like. I hate noises. It's very, very annoying. Um, okay. You look better. That is sick. Okay. Um, stop. So, I got this too. I'm gonna talk about it in a little bit. Um, I really don't apply makeup during the day. It's like a rule that I do, I never do. Like I really never do. So I'm kind of disgusted by this. Okay. Um, so today's a list day, bitch. And we're going to get into it. Let me take this off. I don't feel like it's a vibe. I'm not wearing a bra. Um, Sorry, it like took a second to get everything kind of situated. Um, all right, so I have a list today and um, I feel like, like what, I give a fuck, you know, but whatever. Okay, so um, I did buy a pair of sunglasses. I wanna show them to you. And like sunglasses are a very serious subject for me. Like they have to be really unique. Like I don't like, I don't like women's sunglasses. I don't like sunglasses with like, like thin little, like, you know, like, wire frames weird shit like you know like like do, like I think Dior makes like just I hate women's sunglasses just don't show me anything women's like it bothers me you know what I mean so um I saw these and they're the thing is too it's like nothing new is good these are like when Gucci had like good sunglasses like a few years ago I feel like they don't have any good sunglasses right now I like, haven't seen any that I liked um and these are really cool so I got these, um, 
and I also um, have a few pointers to let you guys know. Um, but the point, the problem with these is I don't like it with this outfit. Like this is too much. Like it's too much. I would wear these with like literally all black yoga outfit. Like all black yoga outfit. That's it. Or like the H R H like shut up tops. You know the black one like that. Like you can't wear. It's like you're. It's like no. Like this doesn't go. You wouldn't know that though because you just don't get it. But anyway, so don't worry. I'm sitting in an airport right now. Uh, apparently I'm in an airport. There's like fucking planes flying by every two seconds. These. Problem is with sunglasses, they always make me look like I have a little gnome nose. Like, why does it look like I have a little gnome gnome nose? Like, it actually really bothers me. Like, why? I don't, I don't have a gnome nose. You know what I mean? Like, I don't have a gnome nose. But, like, I put on sunglasses and I have, like, a little fucking... I, I turn into a little gnome. Like, why? I don't get it. Like, it bothers me. I'm not wearing them up here. Like, now I have a dick for a nose. Like, it's ugly. You know what I mean? Even though my nose isn't ugly. But, like, wow. Like, all of a sudden I put glasses on and it makes me look disgusting and I can't wear it like this because how try hard are you like you don't wear sunglasses like no you're not you're stupid like they're fine but like now I look like a little gnome like I hate it it, it just bothers me it's like nothing from this side looks fine but like I look like a damn gnome and it's like it happens all the time the only ones it doesn't do that to me in are like my Porsche sunglasses glasses which I wear all the time like those look really good on me but anyway what I was gonna say about these is like a, a, a highlight or a feature of my like face are my eyes like the sky is blue i have very pretty eyes and like especially the way how, how i do like sleepy drip which we will get into bitch um like it's just a highlight you know what i mean it's like it's like it's pretty like not everyone has pretty eyes i see so many people with the ugliest eyes i've ever seen in my life one person actually can't talk about it had the ugliest eyes i've ever seen in my life like i couldn't even look at him because eyes were so ugly it looks like diarrhea like i, I hate diarrhea eyes they bother me so um i told you today we're not I already told you on Twitter that um, you're not gonna like today's class, okay? You're just not. So just exit, like, look, just go away. I don't wanna hear you. Anyway, so I like, because I think these are really cool. I don't really like lenses that you can see through, but I really like blue lenses like this because I feel like they kind of make my eyes, like, I like get they highlight my eyes. And then when I go in to like get a coffee or something, I don't have to take them off because they're like actually kind of see-through, but not, I don't know, I really like them. And usually with like blue lens stuff, you get like an ugly, like a, like a light frame. Like I do have blue lenses at home, um, Gucci ones that I got like in Hawaii a long time ago and they're all blue. Like they're all, so it's just like, these were really cool cause it's a black frame and like a, a, a bone color um, arm and then a blue lens. And they are pretty like extra, but they're really fucking cool and they're wearable. Like these that I have, are not wearable like unfortunately they just they're like ridiculous like i every time i wear them they're so messed up they're like look at they're filthy and i i left them in the car too look at the gnome nose look at the gnome look at this gnome i look like a damn gnome okay stop like anyway these have to i have to take them in because i they melted or something and now they're cock i fucked them up they're just dumb but they're like these are like too much like i as much as i love these and i'll have them forever because they're just such like a class they're just like a weird statement like i love them so much like they're just like really cool i gotta take them to get them fixed but um like it's like that with the with the sunglasses like with the blue lenses i love those it really highlights my eyes but they're too much like these are a little like a more subtle version like actually i don't feel embarrassed wearing these they're they're okay they're good like they don't make me look that pretty like my porsche makes me look so pretty but like, I really like these. Okay, so anyway, four hours on the fucking glasses. So there's those. And then we guys know about my Cholo sunglasses. We remember these from last week. <sighs> so um, the same thing, like once again, it's a gnome. Like I'm a little gnome, like I don't get it. Like why am I a gnome? Like it's really, really annoying. I can't wear it, but I look like a dick. It looks like a dick. I can't wear it down here. Like what's the point? You know what I mean? It's like dumb. Um, so I don't know, it just sucks. Like it's literally a gnome. <laughs> It's so fucking annoying, but we can't wear these unless my hair is up. It just looks so bad. So these are my new sunglasses right now. I really like them, but my favorite ones are still my um, Porsche sunglasses, which I love so much. I feel like they're just like made for me. They're like, they just like fit my face so well. Like, I just love them so much. So um, that's that. Sorry, I'm like looking at the lighting. It's way better like that, but I feel like it's very bright. Okay, so I'm gonna get into some list stuff. And um, I just have a lot to talk to you guys about. I don't know how like this is gonna go, but okay, so I always have to like talk to myself and like prepare myself for like the fallout. And I feel like this is what I do. Um, and I don't care. So um, I have a list. I wish I had my list in front of me. I don't really like think about my list. I just kind of like kind of like, like comes to me. Okay. 
So the list is this. Um, stop. I just sort of, I don't know which one, I don't know how I want to start it off. Um, let me, how do I want to start this off? Like, I'm just trying to think how we're going to start it. Um, so, okay, yeah, let's do Sleepy Drew first. So, you guys started, like, sending me DMs about Sleepy Drew, about, like, this girl, like, doing Sleepy Drew. You guys always send me people doing Sleepy Drew. And, like, it's, I, I never see a good Sleepy Drew. I don't. And I'm going to tell you guys, like, even when you guys send me your Sleepy Drew, are not right. And I'm going to tell you guys one more time, like, the truth. So, this is the thing. Like, you don't, cannot go up. You fucking idiots. Like, stop. I'm not, like, why do I, first of all, like, you probably just don't have the eye for it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you just don't have the eyes for it. Like, I, I like, this is the thing. Like, I can toot my own horn. Like, I don't have a six pack. I'll never have a six pack. I hate my stomach. Like, I was born with an ugly stomach. I just don't like my stomach. Like, it's just, but whatever. Like, I'm not going to, no, I don't work out. No, I do not. Okay. Um, but like, there's things I don't like about myself, but like, I can, the things that are good about myself, I can say because like the sky is blue. Like, we're not stupid here. Okay. So, well, you know, lots of you are, but you know what I mean? So you cannot put it going up at all. You have to put it going down. Actually, if this was going a little bit down, it'd even be better. Like, don't, don't go up. If you go up, it's stupid. It looks like a bird flying or something. Like you're ruining it. Okay. So anyway, like, like I think it was over the weekend or something. Someone was like sending me this girl who cover girl put up like cover girl i don't know who this girl is i don't know apparently people are like oh my god she like copies everyone i don't even know who the fuck she's i don't care like i told you i don't get in people's business because i don't have time i don't know who anyone is like the only people i know who are people are people who like i followed on my blog like 10 years ago i don't like anyone i don't want to know anyone i don't give a fuck about anyone like that's just that's just the truth like i don't know who i don't care like okay so i don't know who she is all i know is that she is so embarrassing and she like how did she think that looked good how the fuck did cover girl put her up so anyway if you guys don't know the story cover girl reposted some girl or something with sleepy droop i am not kidding like i couldn't even come up with an i'm usually good at like coming up with an analogy like you know how some people look um nasal drip stop right now um so you know how people usually like like if I, if someone, people like look like people, something like some, sometimes people look like cowardly lions. Some people, sometimes I'm good at like coming up with analogies, right? Like, like what things look like that, like literally was the ugliest sleepy droop I've ever seen. It was like short, it was up and it was like, it literally looked like I was, ha some, she was having a seizure when she was doing it because it was like so squiggly. It was the ugliest shit ever. Anyway, what I was like so mad about is like, this is why I hate sharing stuff with you guys. Like I really hate sharing stuff with you guys because you ruined it. Like, that is a perfect example. How in the motherfuck did Cover Girl repost that? Like, who is... I am so sick of this shit. Like, now people are gonna be like, oh, that's the... That is, is that, like, the new eyeliner trick? Like, I can see, like, the most basic-ass bitches out there. I'd be like, oh, I heard there's a new, like, trick or something. Like, new, like... And what's the word? Like, like, a new thing. Like, no, bitch. First of all, this is something that I took from the 60s or the 70s okay like Sophia Loren did it and like this is like my version of it now and no one has done it good since and we know it show me one person out there you're getting you're starting to piss me off who has done it better than me no one no one bitch no it has not been replicated properly at all and to be honest I think mine is like the best because it's it's very wearable like the way they did it in the 60s was like really dramatic this one is like oh like your eyeliner is really pretty but it's not like over the top like I wear this every day and it's not a lot like yeah it's like dramatic but it's it's just to the point where it's like really good without it being like like is she in costume you know what I mean and yeah I need Botox right now so but like I told you guys I'm waiting to be closer to the wedding date so I don't need to hear your shit about it cause I know okay so um anyway so this bitch put this up and this is why I hate it because like no this is, it, it really bothers me that something really good is going to be done by people who are doing it wrong and making it ugly. And no, it's not the vibe. You're ruining it. Like, I can't explain it. it it's like a knockoff. It's like, it's like the design, designer bag thing. Like, we can't carry designer bags anymore. They're just too played out. They're, they, people have ruined it with bad style, with everyone being able to have one. It's not a vibe anymore. Like, everyone has a designer bag why the fuck would I ever want to wear a designer bag that you're wearing? I have, I don't like how you look now. I want nothing to do with you. You know what I mean? Like I, nothing about you, like 
I, you know what I mean? Ew, like absolutely fuck not. So that's how I just feel. But I was like really pissed off about that. It was like cringe. Like, and like CoverGirl, one of the biggest fucking makeup companies in the entire world. I thought that was acceptable and put that up. Okay, I'm, this list, I'm just gonna start. I'm, I'm not gonna stop. Okay, the next thing is this, bitch. Like, I'm. if I hear you do this one more time, I'm sick of it. Like, no, it's not cute. Stop referring to very nice quality things as cute. It's nothing. It's not cute, you stupid idiot. Okay? Okay, this is the thing. My bracelets, for example, this is not cute. This is not cute. Okay? I'm trying to think expensive shit. Like, these these are not cute okay these are not cute you stupid idiot get a new word okay i'm gonna tell you how it is if I, it bothers me a lot when i get compliments on things and people refer to them as cute it's not cute okay that is a that is incorrect term or word for very nice things nothing it's not cute if you're talking about something that's like expensive and like it, like a, like a work of art or something it's not cute you fucking you're just like garbage okay like you are uneducated like you are you're you're ignorant is what it is. you're you're ignorant and you're a loser okay i'm sick of it and I, you know what you're lucky that i'm here telling you because i'm stopping you from going out in the public looking like a fucking like look like looking like an like a fool like a, like you're very ignorant okay it's like it's like looking not that i like this or whatever but i'm trying to think of something that like a basic person would understand <laughs> If someone has like a $300,000 fucking Birkin and you're like, oh, that's a cute bag. Um, what? Like now you, you have just, just like go home, go home and never leave the house. You know what I mean? Like I just poked myself in the eye because you pissed me off. Let me show you something that's cute. Okay. Like what's cute? Like your, your nails are cute. You know, nails can be cute. That's cute. This top, this cheap top. Okay. The top is cute. All right. That's cute. Okay. Um, the dog is cute. It's a cute dog. You idiot. Okay. Um, like what's cute? You know what I mean? That's not cute. Like I'm sick of you going to like, um, like, can you imagine if I worked at a, like at a high end, if I was like, oh, whatever, I hate essays, but if I was like an essay at Hermes and I saw someone like coming in there being like, oh, this is cute. I would literally throw them out. Call security. You're retarded. Okay. That's the truth. I'm getting really angry. I'm sick of it. Not, it's not cute. Don't refer to quality, expensive goods as cute ever again in anyone's presence because enough is enough and people are dumb. Okay. Um, the next thing are the menthols. So apparently menthols are like going, like FDA is taking menthols out. Oh my God. Like, yeah, anything else you can do. I know you like have to get rid of the, like the tobacco, tobacco industry. I get it. Like it's, you're fucking stupid. Okay. Like that's the thing. You're not going to tell me what to do. No, you will not. It's a thing. Th same thing with abortion. Like, I don't give a fuck what you do. Go do what you will do. I will do it. You know what I mean? Like, that's how I feel. Like when I was about the abortion thing, like it is what it is. It is what it is. You, you like, you're like, you know, what it is what it is. Like, you know, okay. You are ending a life period. Like I will, but do what you want. Cause I don't care. Actually, I don't care what you decide to do, but everyone should be honest with what it is. You know what I mean? That's my take on it. And if you don't like that answer, it's because you can't face the truth. That is the truth. Have 4,000 abortions if you want, but know that you are taking forth, you are taking 4,000 potential lives. You idiot. Like, even the president today, he never gets anything right. Right. He's like, Oh, abortion is ending a, ending a child's life. Like, Duh. Okay. I mean, it's like stupid. It's like the sky is blue. Okay. Literally the sky is damn blue. So I always have the philosophy of like, do what you want. I don't care. Like I, I actually hate you. Like I don't like people. Like I just like me and I like to do me. And like, I like to literally be on my phone. Like I said, I put up that like re that repost of me yesterday. Like that's the truth. Like I don't have anything in common with people. I don't like small talk. I don't like to talk. Um, I like it just no. like I want nothing to do with you. I don't like you. I don't give a fuck about you. It's the truth. Like, and like the same thing with me, like leave me the fuck alone. That's why the mask thing, you're going to tell me to put a mask on, shove it up your ugly ass. No, I will never. Like, that's how I feel. Like, don't tell me what to do. So no, I will. So now they're taking away menthols. Oh yeah. You think I'm not going to smoke menthols? You think I'm not going to get hold of menthols? You moron. Like I'll just fucking have them shipped in. Like are you stupid. Okay. So, like, duh, okay? Just like with the people with abortions. If they want to get an abortion, they will do it. Like, just, but know what you're doing. Like, 
you know, like you guys know my thought on it. I don't give a fuck about you, but like at least be, let's be honest with what it is. Okay. Anyway. So, um, I went today because I'm almost out. I got American. I've never had these before. The, um, American spirit. And, um, and there's an Indian on it. Is there something in my nose? Oh my God. Like there's nothing in my damn nose. And like, it always looks like there's something in my fucking, honestly, I'm sick of this. What's wrong with me? Like why? Um, why did we not have the Indian removed? Like this is very, like this is cultural appropriation, bitch. Let's cancel this. Cancel American spirit. There's an Indian. There's an Indian on here. Didn't we do that with like the, like the beautiful, like Indian woman on the fucking butter? Like you guys took that away. Land of Lakes, right? Wait, 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 wait. excuse me. Woke, woke, woke people. Um, there's an Indian. I found an Indian. Let's, let's cancel American spirit. Stupid idiots. Fucking hate them. Okay. I hate what people. <sighs> All right. Um, this one, of course, got my panels again and parliaments. Um, so I want to just refill my thing. Oh my God. I'm so mad. You guys pissed me off so much. This is my arrows necklace. Okay. Did you guys see I put these up? These are brand new. These are my um, crystal rose tennis necklaces. And this is the classic um, size. And this is the mini size. They're so cute. They're like real style tennis necklaces with like that invisible closure in the back. So even if they turn around, it will still look all like this. And they are, they literally look like real diamonds. They are absolutely gorgeous. I'm wearing 16 inches in both of them just because I like the overlapping. And then I'm wearing my Studio 54, which is the thin one, and my Super Gleam, which is the thicker one. These are solid 10K, but I also have them in like more affordable versions, which are the flash necklace and then the double flash necklace. Um, but if you can like swing getting the, the 10K, you should, because you never have to take them off and they're fucking gorgeous, okay? This is the Eros necklace. I love it, so pretty. And then my estate bracelet, of course. And these are still $10 off, so don't miss this. I think that promo, I'll be ending it soon, just so you guys know, okay. Oh yeah, and then I'm wearing um, these little huggies, which are new. These are solid sterling silver. They're called my infinity ring hoops. And because the front and the back, even like the back, so if you're wearing like your hair up and you can see the back of your ear, it's all diamonds in the back as well. So you never have to take these off because they're solid sterling silver and they're just like perfect. You should get a couple pairs if you have like multiple piercings and just wear them. They're so fucking pretty. Okay. So that's that. Um, and then I want to talk about, um, I know you guys are dying for me to talk about, I don't know why. And like, see how like, gorgeous my hair is? Like everyone's like so jealous of my hair. I'm like trying to like call me out and like, telling me my hair is ugly. Wow. Okay. Um, next thing I want to talk about um, is um, just something that kind of happened. Not something happened. It's just things that like, I, I really want to like um, kind of set the record straight about just this in general because it's really sad and disgusting how people think that they can um, come on others' pages. Like, okay, so I'm not the bully at all. I don't, bully is someone who comes onto, it, it unsolic, unsolicit, unsolicitly, I don't even know what the word is, who unsolicitedly, I don't even know, with their own will, like, with, you know what I mean? Like, goes to someone else and speaks to them. And speaks to them. You are coming here to my page. You don't have to be here. Does someone, is someone forcing you to watch this? No, get off, leave right now. See what I mean? If I was going on your page and bullying you by saying things, that's one thing. I will never do that because I don't care about you. I don't like you. You make me actually make me sick. Like there's very few people in the world who I can tell who I even want to look at. Like I judge the fuck out of you and I don't like you. You know what I mean? Like, ew, if you think I'm gonna go on your page, like I have no interest, see what I mean? So, um, like, I'm just like too busy with myself, right? Okay. Um, and that's the problem. That's the, that's the thing. And that's where like the jealousy stems from because you're focusing so much on other people that you're just a fucking loser. You're a fatally loser. Okay. So, um, that's the thing. If you come on my page and, 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 and write on my page, like I didn't do that to you. You came onto my channel and watched my video. How am I a bully? You are the bully for coming onto my page and being mean to me for no reason. I don't know who you are. In that, and if you do that, yes, if you do that then, and you want to show your ugly face to me, I will absolutely call you out. Absolutely. Every time I will never take the high road. No, you're like, Oh, Alex, just take the high road and like, just, just leave them alone. Oh, never. 
Never ever will I do. I will speak on you. I will speak on your ugly ass. You fucking ugly psychotic bitch. Okay. So you think you're going to come onto my page and speak on me when I don't even know who you are? Um, no, never. So that's why I repost people's photos. Yes, I do. That's why I do that. I repost people's photos because the thing is, is, is the thing like, I know I'm not perfect. Right. So I've like, I don't, people can go back and like, see when I was fat and blah, blah, blah. And like, I just, I'm not, this is the thing. I was bu like bullied as a kid, which I really believe in bullying. I think bullying is good. Yes, I do. Like, I really do. Like, I know there's a certain extent where like, nowadays some people like are bullied so badly on the internet. Like, I am too. Are you kidding me? Like, grow a fucking pair of balls. Okay. Anyway, like, who cares? Anyway, the point is I think bullying is good. Like, it really puts you in your place and it shows you how to fuck with people. I really, I just think that. I don't know. It really strengthens you. It's hard to watch people getting bullied. It's sad. It's disgusting. Like, I would stick up for someone getting bullied. Like, because I was bullied and I hated it, but it really does like make you a stronger person and you're gonna be better for it in the long run, honestly, even though it sucks when it's happening, okay? So that's just, it's just life, like it's true, but it's, so the fact that they're like, and you know what the people, people who like are anti-bully are like usually the biggest bully like cunts ever, like I swear, but anyway. So, um, but the reason I don't bully, well, <laughs> I would never bully, but it's like, why would I go on someone's page? I'm not perfect. Like, you guys can, like, make fun of me for something, I'm sure. You know what I mean? So, I think I'm going to go on someone's page. Okay, say I was, like, no one and I didn't have, like, a, a presence, right? And I just went on someone's page and my profile was open. And I was like, oh, my God, you're ugly or something like that. Do so you think I would, like, not expect them to come back and look at my photos and be like, are you fucking kidding me? You're calling me ugly? Like, look at you. Look at your big fucking ugly, disgusting forehead. That's 400, like, you know, it's huge. I don't, I, whatever, like, someone would have. I don't know. I'm just trying to think, like... This is the thing. People are not put in their place. Like, people are not put in their place. They need to be, like, they, I don't know what it was. Like, it's the new generation where, there's, where people don't, people do bully now. People still bully. I don't know. But, like, why is it, why have people not, why do people talk? Like, they, they think, these people think they're perfect. They can come on someone else's, someone else's page, talk shit, and they're not going to get it back. Absolutely the fuck not. I will fuck you up. You ugly fuck. Okay. So, um, anyway, yeah, but I just want to say, say that because I don't like the people like, oh my God, like you're posting people's photos. Like, of course I am. Absolutely. I will fucking post your ugly ass photo and how ugly you are because you're ugly. Like there, there's no one out there who's pretty. Like there's really no one out there who is like really pretty unless you're a fucking model. I promise you, you're not pretty. Okay. Like everyone is, everyone's ugly. Okay. It is like everyone's fucking ugly, including you. You know what I mean? Like we're not exactly pretty. So so, so get off your fucking high horse and, and recognize that like, you don't have, you need to be careful, bitch. You need to be careful. Like, it's like, it's like poking the bear. You know what I mean? Like, no, don't like, don't. So anyway, I don't know why I like got on that, but I just did because like, I hate the way people are like, oh my God, I can't believe that. Yeah, I do that. I will never take the high road. I will speak on you, bitch. I will. Like, who the fuck do you think you are? Um, so that was that. And then, um, should we try... Let's try the um, multi, the, what's it called? The cultural. Appropriate. Cultural appreciation, actually. This is cultural appreciation. It actually is because, um, because there's a picture of a Native American on it, which is nice. Okay. Mm. Okay, um, so I have a few more things to talk about, obviously. Okay, so let's talk about, mm, I still live by Palm Mills more. And um, yeah, I told you this is my car, so I don't care if there's smoke, um, I don't care. Anyway, um, so I want to talk about, um, what else? There's a few more things I want to talk about. See, when I open that window, then it goes there. Okay. Um, these, this shirt is like an extra small and it's cutting my fucking arms off, making me look like I have these like fat arms. It's really annoying. I just want it, I don't like to wear like, when a t-shirt's tight, I like to be really tight, but it's not the best. Um, 
All right, so what I was gonna say is, um, I just wanna talk about a couple things. I don't care what you guys think, but like, I, I just like to be like, oh my God, what the fuck? So, um, you, did you guys see that thing, I po picture I posted on um, Instagram with those floppy tits? So I was at like Paper Source. Paper Source is like literally the most gross, like woke, like company ever. They have, they have a lot of cute stuff, like just cute, like knickknack stuff, but they really are, they've gone like super woke. It's just like so cringy. They have like these really like, like weird woke books and like, it's just like weird shit. Like, hey, you really had to go there. Um, I just don't, I just, I don't like it. It's like, it's like really bad. Like just really not bad. It's just like, ew, you know, I mean, I care. Like whatever, it's not my, I don't give a fuck what you do. You know that. Um, so I, um, was in there cause I was like starting to look for like mother, whatever, stop. Um, and I saw they had, I'm so sick of this shit. Remember I, I've talked about this before. Like people who have, they wear like, like, um, you know, what I talk about picking, you know, you know, you know what I'm going to say about touching my nose. Like as if you don't do that. So stupid. Like I just can't stand the, the judgments. Like like you guys oh you never do that you've never done that before oh really hmm this is i really hate this cigarette i really fucking hate this cigarette like it's actually disgusting i want to cancel them based on just based just on that <sighs> i guess i'll just finish I guess I'm gonna be okay anyway so i was in paper source and i'm really sick of like those tit pictures like where there's like a little like a drawing of like all different shaped tits, right? Oh, don't worry. I'm literally in I'm in an, I'm in an airport like runway. Like, what the fuck? So um, I'm really sick of this. Where it's like it's all these different like tits, like like a pair of tits like this, and a pair of tits like that, and like a pair of tits like ugly tits, and like a pair of saggy tits, and a pair of tiny tits, and a pair of like you know like all different color tits, like there's like a white tit, a brown tit, like a, a black tit, like all different color tits. And they're all like obviously like drawn, you know what I mean, some artists, some fucking woke artist drew it. And then the middle says, wait, everyone's per uh, everyone's beautiful. Okay, I am so sick of this shit. No, don't even get me started. No, your tits are ugly. Your tits are ugly. This is the thing. If you're carrying around that little, it was like a little zipper pouch. Don't worry, I'm on an airport runway. What is that? Like, what is that? Honestly, I'm just, I, I can't stand being, being annoyed. Like, why is everyone always like up in my shit? I'm literally in a parking lot with no one here and there's, there's like a fucking parade going by or some shit. So fucking loud. Um, so anyway, um, I, oh yeah. So it's like a little zipper pouch and there's all those different tits on the front. And then it says like, everyone's, like everyone's beautiful or some shit. First of all, why are you drawing ugly tits? Like, no, you're, you, you, you have ugly tits. If you bought that, it's because you have ugly tits and you're like, ah, oh, see, I, my tits are pretty too. Like, no, you're ugly and your tits are ugly. Okay. No, they're not, you, they, they're ugly. I've seen ugly tits. I used to, okay, the truth is this. I didn't have the ugliest tits before, but see how I can be honest? I can be honest, okay. Because I don't live in a clown world. So you guys know my story where it's like, I had like regular tits and because I like, I was fluctuating the weight up and down basically my entire life. And I just didn't have cute tits. Like, I don't feel like my tits are that cute. They're just like, whatever. Um, okay, so then I got the implants in, right? And I had them for a year. And I hated them. I was like, biggest mistake. But I will I will do what I want to do. I will make mistakes. Yes. I'm not gonna like live like a lot of you idiots out there. You just don't you don't make any moves in your life. And you're like, oh, I wanna do that, I wanna do that. I, I hate people like that. Oh my god. I know a lot of people like that. Oh my god, I'm I'm gonna do it. I wanna do it. Like, shut up. Like you you make me sick. Like just do it. Like do it or don't tell me. Like like I am so sick of being like, oh my god, I'm gonna do it. I wanna do it. I want well, I already what do you mean? Why do you even say that? Like, the moment I think of something, I'm gonna do it. Like the moment I think of it, I do it. Like why are you why are you discussing it? I think I give a fuck what you do, what you want to do. Just do it and shut up. I hate that about people. Like, I think people like meddle over things, like meddle for like 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 weeks and years. Like you make me sick. You're an indecisive loser. Okay. So anyway, the moment I got those tits out, I wanted them out. So I got them out like like basically a year and a half I had them out. And instead of the tits, I got like a lift. And now my tits are the cutest tits in the world. See, they are. And they are, I love them. 
Um, so if anyone needs advice, you should get a lift and no implant. It's like the best. And yeah, I have like the scar underneath, but you, you can only see it. And that's the only thing that sucks is like when you like lift up, you can see the scar underneath, but whatever, it's totally worth it because I have really cute boobs. Um, so yeah, see like I knew, see I'm not stupid. Like I'm very self-aware. Oh, don't worry. My camera is starting to fall. Stupid fuck. Stupid! Fucking ruining my can my video now. You're fucking ruining my video. This is stupid. Okay. So, um, I, I, I'm just so sick of the clown world stuff. Like, oh, everyone is, every, every, all tits are beautiful. All, but, okay. Like, I'm just so sick of that. And that's why people don't better themselves, too. Because if someone was like, oh, don't worry, it's falling again. Oh, God. Shut the fuck up. Stupid camera. Okay. I hope no one's watching me. Okay. <laughs> I'm like literally fighting with the camera. Oh, my God. My God. <laughs> okay. Hopefully it will stay. I don't know. Anyway, before it falls, what I wanted to say is this. I wanted to say is the truth is, is you guys are being really mean to people who are, who do have like problems. Like, no, you shouldn't be going around and saying like, oh my God, like don't, like you look great. I mean, I'm not saying, I'm not talking about things to go fix like, like surgically. Like if you can't, some people can't afford it or they don't want it, whatever, that's this one thing. But you don't have to lie to them and be like, oh, you look so good. You just gained 25 pounds and I look so good. Like I am so sick of it. And that's why people don't improve themselves because of like the body positivity thing like nowadays I tweeted the other day I was like I was like you know the body positive the body positivity thing is really fucked up because people who were like kind of fat before are now like really fat you know what I mean because like oh see like I don't have to try because I'm still beautiful like I I'm like I can fall into that too like like when I, it's it's so it's like I'm not I can't because I'm not stupid I have like a, I am like a very strong person so I know I'm not like I'm not retarded but like a lot of very weak women and even men too will be like oh it's fine like See, like she goes out and flaunts her huge stomach with like rolls and everything and stretch marks and she's still pretty and she's got like, like no, it's so unhealthy and it's not. Like don't don't do that to people. Like it's the same thing with that like little tit that little tit fucking um pouch. Like, why are you putting that out there? It's like they also do it I bet you they like do it with like huge bellies too. They're like, oh all bellies are pretty. Like it's just it's so mean. It's actually so mean of people to 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 lie to others and like when we, we know it's not right, like, what what is this? Like, I'm just, I literally, I can't even believe that this is the way the world is now. Like, I am so sick of it. So yeah, that's one thing I wanna talk about. It was like, I was like, wow. Anyway, I know a lot of you guys, um, a lot of you guys like agree with me, but because of like the DMs I was getting on that thing, but um, on that post, was, like you guys are, a lot of you guys too are like waking up. Honestly, you guys are, a lot of you guys are waking up. Like, I get so many DMs from you being like, oh my god, you're so right. Like, I didn't even realize. Um, but yeah, you're so right. I actually feel really ugly today. I don't think I look good in white. Like, white is just washes me out. Like, I don't know what it is. Let me see. It's like, right? Like, I don't know. I just don't, whenever I wear white, like, see how much better I look in dark? I just don't like white on me. It's like not cute. Okay, um, so... I had other things to speak about too. You might forgetting. Um, I posted yesterday, like my house is like getting, I'm still in construction right now. And my birthday is next week. It's May 13th. Um, I don't really have any plans as of yet. And I have a new Starbucks drink, but I saved that for Patreon. I posted like, like, I think like a few, like a whole album of photos yesterday on Patreon. So you guys should subscribe to that. I do like special things on there. My new Starbucks drink is on there. I'm not ready to share it with you. I share like certain things with Patreon only. Um, this might, I might, if I keep drinking this, I might share it later, but like Patreon's fun because it's like exclusive private class stuff. Um, you just go to Patreon and search HIH collection. Um, there was another thing I want to talk to you guys about. Yeah, I know you guys are dying for me to talk about the Marilyn Monroe thing, which I will. The Kim Kardashian, Marilyn Monroe. I hate awards shows. I hate award shows. I hate Hollywood. Um, I, I, I just don't like the, like how fake it is. Like Hillary Clinton there with like the masked person fluffing her dress while she's not wearing a mask. And he happened to be black too. Like why, if that was like, if that was a conservative, like if, if Hillary Clinton was a conservative and there was a black 
person with a mask on fluffing her fucking dress you don't think that people would have been rioting not rioting but like fucking all, like on fire right but like for her that's okay it's just so the whole thing is so wrong so like so like everyone so like the the elites there cannot wear a mask and show up in like ten thousand dollar dresses and then like the little peasants can have the, have to wear the mask and can like fluff everyone's dress like so belittling like so gross like why are they masks but no one else is I, I just can't stand it and I also don't like that you guys are still like are, are still like not not like ugh, a lot of you are but like I just can't like there's too many that are like still like honestly retarded so the whole thing with the Kim Kardashian I don't understand it at all like I don't have a problem with Kim Kardashian I don't care like I told you I don't like Hollywood but she hasn't ever done anything to like super piss me off like I just don't care she's not like I hate when people like get political and then I don't like and say stupid shit that pisses me off like that's what I don't like and I feel like Hollywood is just so out of touch they're like oh oh you know don't drive like oh don't, like they have private jets but then they're telling us to like about global warming it's just absolutely disgusting kind of thing I hate I hate the hypocrisy. I can't stand it. Like it's one thing if like you you have a private jet, but you don't then you don't speak on climate change. Okay, blow me. You know what I mean? It, but they don't. It's the opposite. They're disgusting. So um, I so about like the whole Kim thing. Like I don't know how or why she was chosen or how. I don't know what the I don't know the story is. I, apparently she paid to wear it. I don't know. Then I heard that she the the dress was a replica of it and she only wore. Marilyn Monroe's dress for like 10 minutes or something which is still disgusting it's like it's actually it's like blasphemy for me like as a I mean everyone some people were like whatever Marilyn Monroe is like a whore or like, like bad too or whatever it's not the point Marilyn Monroe is Marilyn Monroe okay like she is the epitome of Hollywood glam old Hollywood glam like like are you serious so you're gonna let Kim Kardashian wear the fucking dress like are you serious and then they gave her a lock of Marilyn Monroe's hair are you like really i i, I it's just it, the whole thing is weird i i mean kim looked amazing and the fact that she lost weight to wear the dress yeah you know what, what people are getting mad that she had to lose weight to wear a dress you're a fat ass pig okay anyone who's like hey, that's that's promoting that's promoting anorexia no it's promoting that she lost weight to lose a dress you fucking little shit like just shut up okay you fucking ugly fat pig okay like i'm so sick of it people don't lose weight for like for their wedding day or something like what it's natural people lose weight for events like shut your damn mouth you're ugly and useless and um you're just useless you're a useless piece of shit you're a turd okay i'm sick of it like this is the truth i don't give a fuck about kim but now like it's like now remember when she said oh get up and work yeah get up and work like it's true i don't care if you don't think that she gets up and works get up and work what does her have to do with you okay it was good advice true half of you guys don't that's why you're losers um so the whole thing with marilyn Monroe. but did you see how what was that picture of like the back was open her ass was out like not her ass was out but like it didn't even close on her she looked great though like her figure looked amazing i didn't like her hair but who cares like whatever um she looked like the best one there but i really hope it wasn't marilyn's dress like that is disgusting she, she could hardly even i saw too like her walking she could hardly even walk in the dress it was like so tight at the bottom either way she looked like she looked gorgeous but i think it's disgusting that she would even if she was the one who was like reached out asking to wear the dress like she's embarrassing like you have so much nerve i would never in a million years think that it was okay for some someone anyone anyone to wear to wear marilyn monroe's dress like she's gonna be haunted now by marilyn monroe marilyn monroe is going to haunt her in her dreams like she seriously is like i wouldn't touch that shit like marilyn, marilyn monroe is probably was crazy and like she is a one of a kind don't don't touch it like like how dare you think it's almost okay it's not the same obviously but it's like something having to do with like like thinking that you're that close like like you're that like like god like marilyn monroe's not but i'm saying it's something like that like she's unattainable like marilyn monroe is a is, is a one of a lifetime individual that's it leave it you know what i mean and then kim kardashian to come in and be the one to wear the dress like n absolutely the fuck not it just, i hate award shows and everyone's like I couldn't wait to watch the, the Met, Met Gala and everyone's like loving loving the outfits like you guys like that they look like shit like everyone looked like a fucking wreck like the dresses were out of control it's like it's a fucking costume party I don't like it it's costume like I literally would have worn um my skinny legend outfit seriously like I'm not even but you know what I mean like I would have like cuter than what you are like 
some huge ugly unrealistic like out of touch dress you know what i mean like it's just not the vibe like you like i don't know i don't like it no one no one looked good everyone everyone thinks that every like all these actresses looked good they didn't look good okay they looked like shit whatever i don't like it i didn't like anything i didn't like see anything but the ones i saw i was like okay whatever like who cares there's a couple that i thought were pretty but whatever i don't care like it's so unrealistic it's so like it's so out of touch like the country is going to hell in a handbasket you know what i mean and these fucking out of touch like hip hip hypocritical losers fucking hollywood stars okay are like going to award shows okay i'm just so sick of it and the peasants like you are watching it and facilitating it like why are you so dumb I don't know what we should do is like what we should have done this is like remember on april fools i posted all that like sh like all the april fools like this those things like opposite of what i think i didn't get taken down for any of that on insta right but if i would have posted the opposite of that i would have been taken down like that's what is so sick like it's the truth that like people cannot hear okay so anyway i'm gonna try to tell this story in a way that like doesn't like it doesn't out me or like like out the person i really hate this shirt like the shirt is just it's just too tight on the top it's stupid like i should have gotten a different size okay so um i okay i really hate like shopping you guys know that i hate like when sh i hate shopping because the sales assistant sales people are so annoying like honestly they're so annoying you guys are the most annoying people ever like I, I just can't like i don't need your help do i look like a bitch who needs help or needs like your advice so I don't want to say what, what this was because I just don't want to like it to get back to this person or whatever. And I'm a chameleon. So I just like kind of go with it and I'm miserable the whole time. <sighs> I can't. Okay. So it's not at Sephora and it's not at any like big makeup place. It was at like this small, smaller makeup place. And like, I think it's so like, what kind of a person has the confidence? Like, I hate someone who wears a lot of makeup and sells makeup, like works at a makeup place and wears a ton of makeup, like caked, okay? And like, this is the thing, I know I don't look bad. Like, I'm sorry, I know I don't need anyone's help. Like, I don't wanna be glam. I don't want any, I don't want to look like I'm wearing a lot of makeup. Um, I'm 37 years old and I look younger than you, okay? That's the truth. Like, I look younger than anyone younger than me, I look younger than you. That's the truth, okay? Unless you're a fetus, I look younger than you. You're, you just don't look young, okay? I mean, you know what I mean? Like, that's the truth. Like, 100% of you just don't. That's the truth, okay? And when you're 37, review these videos and come back and compare yourself and you will not look like me, okay? It's the truth. So, I just don't like when I go in these places and they uh, try to assist me. Like, first of all, I don't, I, I'm a very strong person. I know what I want. And I'm also the kind of person where if you start to try to give me like, um, advice or give me not advice, but like your opinion, I'll say, no, oh no, 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 thank you. Like I would right away. Like, no, I like, like, I'm not going to do that. Like, I'm not going to, I'm not here to like take your opinion on something. First of all, you're ugly. You're ugly and you're wearing a fuck ton of makeup. And I would, I would, don't want to look anything like you. And to be honest, like, I don't know why you work here. Like, I don't know why you work here because you're not a vibe. Like, you don't match the vibe. You don't, you, nothing you're wearing on your face is anything I'd want to associate myself with. And I'm having to sit here and be nice and play along and, like, act like I appreciate your help, even though I want you to get the fuck out of my face. Like, I just want to shop in peace. I don't need your advice. You're ugly. Okay? That should be another rule. Just like I told you guys, don't try me. Like, don't try me unless you're hotter than me um richer than me you know what i mean just don't like don't try me because you're an idiot you look like a fool just don't and that's the thing same thing and this thing if you're offended get the fuck off my channel that's the same thing with going to anywhere to a makeup place and having someone who's uglier than you try and give you advice or try to even sell you like walk away if i if some hot girl came in to a makeup place and try it hotter than me i would be like just there to help but i, I will anyone but if some like nerd who like was ugly as shit who acted like they kind of like needed some advice i would you know what i mean i would help because i work there okay but you have to know your place like do i look like a bitch who needs help no i'm cute okay i look really good 
I do everything right. My eyes look amazing. My eyebrows are on point. I don't even have eyebrows. I have just this hair right here. You guys have seen me in eyebrows. You make fun of me all the time. And I'm able to create this look. My my lips are uglier than shit. I hate the side. I hate lip. I hate my lips and I hate your lips too. That's the truth. You guys have ugly lips out there. You have very ugly lips. I've seen them. And you continue to not line your lips properly. I have tried to tell you to cut off your fucking Cupid's bow and to make your lips as long as you can. And you don't listen to me. Because every time I see a little fucking pouty anus mouth your little fat ass anus mouth it makes me sick and you don't listen to me and i've been trying to tell you and you don't listen so anyway i'm really infuriated still by that day that, that day because i was really excited to go and just get some new makeup products and i was really bothered by this person because i was like wait why are you like trying to assist me and like give me your advice um you know um why are you doing that do you actually think I, you can hold a candle to me I'm like no like i don't get it it's weird like do you, do you see what i mean stop okay so I want to show you guys this that I bought. Um, this is called S Sacred, okay, by Hourglass. And this is the thing. You guys always want to know about my Bobbi Brown. This is Bitten Peach. And I haven't been able to find it anywhere, but you need to get this. I'm going to put the link below if I can find it. You need to get Bitten Peach. But if you can't find Bitten Peach, this is a really good, like, an alternative. But it's, like, the same thing. So I don't know why I bought it. Um, I don't even know. Because it was pretty. I guess it was because it was pretty. I'm going to talk to you guys about, um, and then about... Um, packaging because that's what I wanted to get to is my next story my last story is about packaging so about cosmetic packaging so I hate this you guys all think like Charlotte Tilbury's packaging I and mean, I like Charlotte Tilbury makeup it's like really good everything I've most things that I've tried from Charlotte Tilbury I, I do like nothing is perfect okay but a lot of it is like she just kind of gets it as far as making you as pretty as you can possibly be because you're ugly you know what I mean like we like like for example she gets it you know what i mean but i don't like the packaging so i'm gonna go talk about packaging really quick but it's not atrocious that's why i bought it but i will not buy ugly packaging stuff even with the best stuff ever i will not buy it like i can't and i also got this it's ugly um but i do like i like tart stuff too but it's just so ugly. like i like this because it's a it's a i like the um the comfort of it but it's like it's not ugly but it just kind of looks like some kind of like contraceptive or something like a it looks like something you sh like like it looks like a vibrator i don't know i just don't like it it's okay and i just really wanted like some kind of a kabuki that was like a like this so i like it anyway okay i got this and it's the airbrush flawless finish so that's the thing with charlotte tilbury is she does do a lot of like airbrush effect stuff so she she does like kind of try to go to get there it doesn't really do much it just it does it's nice it does kind of it does but I don't like that look. I would rather be a little bit shiny um, than be matte and uh, like caked a little bit. And this kind of cakes a little bit, even with just one slight brush for me, but it's a really good product and I do like this. So you guys should get this, but my advice for you is I got the three, the tan, because I figured, okay, I can use this as like a blotting thing during the day, like a, just a quick brush from really, cause I get really wet or whatever moist, I don't know where it is oily um but i don't want to be white i want to have like a little bit of color so i got the three the tan which is a really good idea so you're not like really white and you can give a little bit of like a quick a quick pop of color so you look dead okay because a lot of you guys look dead as well okay so i'm gonna talk about packaging really quick and i really don't understand packaging so um cosmetic packaging is this it's it's um it's something that you have to look at every day and it's something that like when i have pretty makeup like packaging it makes me happy and i want to use it and i like i reach for it i won't buy ugly packaging i think it's so disrespectful like i know all of you guys are like oh what about Too Faced? what about Too Faced? it's so cute okay that looks so cheap like how do you it's so ugly like it's like it's it's the ugliest it's so tacky it's tacky it's not ugly it's just tacky like no everything is so bad like it's ugly I, I can't like the and then like the stuff like chanel is the only one that gets it like I, as much as i hate chanel they're the only one that gets it the this the shape is nice and it has their beautiful logo on the front and that's it okay like charlotte tilbury I, I i know that she loves the rose gold thing like i know it but first of all every time you touch it it's disgusting there's fingerprints all over it like it doesn't photograph well i, I don't know like it's not a testament to her like i think she could do i think they should do a better job like it's like copper it's not even like rose gold i don't know the shapes are cute some of her stuff i don't like it was pretty when it first started with the rose gold thing but it's like it's ugly look how ugly all the fingerprints like it's not pretty it's like i can't say every time i go for it i have to like do this because it makes me sick i hate fingerprints like it's ugly but this is a cute little compact um i don't know that's just my 
thing on it. I just think that ugly packaging is very disrespectful. Like I really do. It's like something like, well, they, they know, like we, like they know that you're going to buy it because like they are a big brand or something and they just, and they just, and they just don't care. So yeah, see everything is Anastasia. So Anastasia, I guess they like kind of copied. I don't know. I thought this was Charlotte Tilbury, but I forgot. This is my fetus cream, which I do love. And then what I'm also, I'm just looking at stuff I have for packaging. Like this is that member I told you guys you can't wear that after, oh, you have to wear it only after three. Okay, what else do I have in here? I don't really carry a lot of makeup. I just carry sticks. Um, Bobbi Brown packaging is pretty because it's just black or like that. I don't really love this, but I think it's like the matte version. That's why she did matte gold, kind of made sense. Um, and then like the best lip liner in the world is the, um, my Trish McAvoy lip liner in the Barely There. It's like my favorite. Uh, and then it just sucks. Like, and then this was, this was Hourglass, which I think is nice, but I feel like Hourglass, like it's nice. But once again, it's that shiny stuff. Look how disgusting. It's like just, ew, you see, like you can't have makeup containers be be shiny because your hands are going it's disgusting like it is so gross like why do people think of this i don't know i don't like it well i guess like the chanel is shiny black too but i don't know okay then i got this which i do like this is another um i love fetus creams because it's important to look um to just look young and like fresh so this is i don't know what this is tower um it's called beach please magic hour and it's just like a little fetus cream thing and this one it makes you really dewy um, which I don't need because I'm already really dewy, but um, this is a nice alternative. I really like this. And I also got something that I really love. Um, it's called Cactus Water by Freck. Um, I think that brand Freck is like the people who make the fake freckles, which I think is a really cute idea because I, luckily for me, like in the summer, I do get freckles by myself. Like I lay out in the sun for like five minutes, I get freckles. But um, I think that's another thing why I look younger because of the freckles, but just generally I have a very youthful appearance to be honest, but um anyway <laughs> so fuck you stupid ass you're fucking so jealous of me so anyway um i i saw that so i was like looking at the like freck stuff just to see what, what, what it was and they have this like what what drew me was the packaging for this um like cactus water it's called and it looks like burrito i love burrito's packaging um for their perfumes i know they have like i think don't they have no they don't okay um, and it was just simple. It was a clear bottle with a black top. If I ever did like fragrances, if I did, if I ever, if I ever did like any kind of like cosmetic, it would just be black and white. Like everything should just be clear, black and white. Like, or like maybe like a, like a very, like, like a vanilla color or something. But like, it's just, it's just ugly. You guys have no vibe. Like I just can't. So anyway, um, I saw that in a bottle and it just was very refreshing to me. It was like, oh my God, this is so cool. Like cactus water, some kind of like, um, cl not cleansing, but like a toner for your face. And it kind of smells good. And I'm excited to use it every day. It's like this really nice, like clear bottle on my counter. And I just take like a pad and I put it on my face and I kind of feel like, I do feel like a little bit of like a tingling or like a cleanse, like a, a burning sensation, which I like. Um, so I really like that. I'm going to link it to the, I'm going to link it here too. I think it's a really, I think it wasn't expensive either. And I just really am enjoying it. So that, um, yeah, so I think that's it, but yeah. All right, guys, so that's it. I have to talk about everything, right? Talk about my makeup, my jewelry. All right, uh, I love you, most of you. Oh my God, that was really ugly. I love you, like, ew. Like, see how, like, why did I do that? That was like so ugly. Stop.